Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you 10 latest defense updates. Number 1. Phase 2. Purpose built dry cavalry engine aims to conclude with certification. Godridge Aerospace has started manufacturing 8 modules of the 48KN dry uh, cavalry engine for the GTRE that is gas turbine research establishment that plans to complete last mile trials for the certification of the engine before it is cleared for production. It has been told that the dry cavalry engine program officially has entered phase 2 with purpose built engines that will be used for fine tuning engine performance. Next, Brahmos to get a Mac bump to stay relevant. Brahmos Aerospace is currently working on the development of the next generation Brahmos which will be smaller and lighter but will capable of delivering the same powerful punch with a range of 300 km at a speed of Mach 3.5 that can overwhelm any air defense system along with plans to develop a hypersonic Brahmos missile that can reach speeds of Mach 6 to 7 in collaboration with Russia. The company is also focused on importing, improving the performance of the Brahmos to maintain its competitive edge. Next, India's project Veda starts taking shape. As reported, the Defense Research and Development Organization started manufacturing India's first defense satellite launch vehicle dubbed Veda or Vehicle for Defense Application. Recently released tender documents suggest that the development trials for the system may commence soon, indicating that the satellite launcher vehicle is nearing completion. Next, retrieving POK very much on government agenda, says Union Minister Jitender Singh. In a meeting with London-based Jammu and Kashmir origin students and social groups, he said, after Prime Minister Narendra Modi took over, he sought to correct several anomalies of the past that were the legacy of successive governments since 1947. Next, DRDO Indian Navy conducts successful trial of indigenous air droppable container. The container was dropped from an IL-38 SD aircraft. According to the Defence Ministry, the maiden trial was conducted off the coast of Goa on April 27, it is said in a statement. The trial was conducted to enhance the naval operational logistic capabilities by providing quick response to meet the requirement of critical engineering stores to ship which are deployed more than 2,000 kilometres from the coast. It reduces the requirement of ships to come close to the coast to collect spares and stores. Next, U.S. says no plans to add new members to Quad at this time. There is no plan to add new members to the Quad at this point time. The White House has said ahead of the summit of Quad, quad leaders in Australia later this month. Next, Myanmar's military builds on Great Cocoa Island raises concerns of Chinese involvement. Now, Myanmar's Great Cocoa Island has been a topic of intrigue since the early 1990s with rumors of a Chinese intelligence facility present on the island. Now, satellite images taken in January 2023 have revealed signs of military modernization, including a newly London runway, radar station, hangars and an accommodation block. Next, NTPC-NPCIL sign agreement for developing nuclear power plants. NTPC on Monday signed a supplementary joint venture agreement with Nuclear Power Corporation of India in New Delhi for the development of nuclear power projects according to a statement from the Power Ministry. Initially, the joint venture company shall develop two pressurized heavy water reactor projects, Chutka Madhya Pradesh Atomic Power Project 2 into 700 megawatt and Mahi Banswara Rajasthan Atomic Power Project 
4 into 700 megawatt which were identified as a part of fleet mode nuclear projects next aime 2023 indian navy ships arrive in singapore indian naval ships ins satpura and ins delhi with ra r admin uh, gurcharan singh the flag officer commanding eastern fleet embarked on board and arrived at singapore on monday to participate in the inaugural asean asean india asean india maritime exercise aime 2023 scheduled from may 2 to 8th next india participating in doha meeting convened by un chief antonio gutre on afghanistan india is participating in the meeting convened in doha by un secretary general uh, antonio gutre on afghanistan that is bringing together special envoys from various countries and is aimed to aimed at achieving a common understanding of how to engage with the taliban thank you